So friends, this was another question which was based on differential equation where it was mentioned that this particular curve is a solution to this differential equation. That means it satisfies this differential equation and we needed to find out the value of P and Q for it. Right now, many of the students have tried all sorts of methods. They have found dy by dx, they have found d2y by dx, and try to substitute it and get it to zero. And as a result, they all got muddled up. Right? I'll show you a very, very simple way to solve this problem. Now, let us start by de finding the derivative of this function. So, let us find dy by dx. So, dy by dx can be easily be found out by using the product rule. So we have two functions which are multiplied. So if I use the product rule on it, I'm going to get 2x plus 1 e to the power 3x times 3 plus 2 times e to the power 3x. Right? So this is the product rule which has been used to find the derivative of y with respect to x. Now please, do not do not try to find d2y by dx square without doing this step if you see this particular expression right what does it resemble it resembles y right so before finding the derivative of dy by dx again that means before finding d2y by dx square i will make the replacement of this term with y so i will do dy by dx equal to 3 times y and of course this term you can copy down as such right now at this stage you can now do the derivative of dy by dx once again with respect to x so derivative of dy by dx will be nothing but d2y by dx square right equal to derivative of 3y is nothing but 3 dy by dx right and what about this this becomes 2 into e to the power 3x into 3 right so till this step there is no issue there is no <coughs> problem now from this step onwards i will do another smart move here so let me just copy this term back over here okay now if you see this term that is e to the power 3x or we can call this as 3 times 2 e to the power 3x now you can see 2e to the power 3x term is appearing at this stage right which can easily be written as dy by dx minus 3y correct so from this step from this step i can write 2e to the power 3x as dy by dx minus 3y right in other words what i will do now i will keep this term as such this term as such but replace this term with this expression so I will rewrite this as d2y by dx square is equal to 3 dy by dx plus 3 times of dy by dx minus 3y right so by doing this I have become I have come very very close to this type of expression so if I open the expression I will realize that d2y by dx square can be written as 3 dy by dx and 3 dy by dx can be combined to make 6 dy by dx right and minus plus 3 and minus 3y can be made as minus 9y right now since my required expression has all the terms on the left side even i'll do the same here i'll bring everything to the left side so this becomes minus 6 dy by dx plus 9y equal to 0 right now directly comparing these two what do you get we get p as minus 6 and q as 9 so this brings to you brings you to the answer p is minus 6 and q is 9 hope this is very very clear this is a much faster way to solve such kind of a problem many of the students have tried substituting dy by dx and d2y by dx square which works in some scenarios but may not work in many so you can use this method to simplify your process of solving this problem thank you so much